Trying to fit all of your career information into a one-page document is no easy task. Still, it is often recommended that having a one-page resume is the best way to go. Hi, I'm Debbie Dalma Heron, HR consultant and career strategist with freezumes.com. And today I'm sharing the best ways to create a great one-page resume. So let's start with answering a question. Should a resume only be one page long? This is not a black and white question. In short, it's best to submit a one page resume if you are in the beginning or middle of your career. But if you are a senior candidate with 10 or more years of relevant experience, you can easily have a two page resume. If you are applying to a job abroad and get asked to submit a CV, it's okay to go beyond that single page. Now let's dig into the tips and tricks to fitting your resume on one page. First, try to adjust your page margins and layout. Most people leave page margins at the one inch default in Microsoft Word, but you can trim this down. As a rule of thumb, it's okay to go with a margin of half an inch. You want to have a little white space around the edge, otherwise it will look cramped together. So here's how it's done. Go to layout and then margins. Select either one of the pre-suggested configurations or add a custom range. A second tip to try is to merge the sections together. Every great resume has at least three standard sections, a header, work experience, and education. You may have some additional ones such as skills, accolades, resume objective, or professional bio and so forth. While all of them can play a role in hiring, they do take up valuable space. Aim for three or four distinct sections and combine the rest. For example, you could combine your resume objective and professional bio or add accolades to the work experience section. You might want to condense the information. Always look at ways to combine some of your information that may be important, but it doesn't have a direct bearing on the job that you are applying for. For example, instead of listing each qualification or achievement on a single line, condense them together and leave off any early or lower level qualifications that an employer may not be interested in knowing about. You can also skip your address and simply include your name and contact number, email address, and LinkedIn profile. Check if you repeat yourself. Don't describe every job duty you had at every job listed. Instead, focus on listing one to two main accomplishments for each entry and sprinkle in some relevant hard and soft skills. Take a look at our customer service resume example. You can write a one line description and then provide a quick bullet point list of accomplishments and skills. So it looks like this. Another idea is that you could adjust your line spacing and font size. Recruiters want to see resumes that are easy on the eye, so good line spacing is important. If you are using Microsoft Word to create your resume, then you can change the line spacing between paragraphs and different sections. As far as font size, the smallest we recommend you going with is a font size 10 point. However, it would be wise to leave your name at 14 point font, if not larger. A question that often comes up is if it's time to trim your bullet points. Think of your bullet points as mini headlines. You want to avoid complex, lengthy words unless they are actual keywords. Keep your bullet point to one line to avoid wasting space. Aim for about the same bullet point length to make your resume look neater. Make your bullet points symmetrical by starting with a verb and keep your bullet point related to the position you are applying for. Here's how we incorporated all of these tips in our hospitality resume example. Now, when all else fails, don't worry about the resume length too much. If you've tried all of the tips mentioned and still didn't arrive at the coveted one-page resume length, don't sweat it any further. 
There is no harm in having two versions of your resume, one single page version and one longer version. These can be handy to keep on file for when an employer asks you to submit one or the other. Regardless of your resume length, it is your skills, qualifications, and past experiences that make the most difference. So go with a two page resume if you feel that a longer version will represent you better as a candidate. Now, if you need some extra help, you can always browse a growing collection of professional resume templates on freesumes.com. They are already optimized to pack a punch within a single page.